In this month's Day Crafty Kit, you'll receive two cardstock templates for the Nichos, a sheet of Mexican lottery cards, two pieces of orange tissue paper, a glue stick, and four twisty ties. You'll also receive a paper with more information about Nichos and Flores de Papel. You'll begin by cutting the outline of each of the Nichos on their template. Don't forget to cut out the shutters for the window on the yellow one as well. You might want to use a craft knife to cut the solid lines inside each of the window frames. And anywhere that you see a dashed line, that's going to be a fold. You might want to use something to score those lines so that they're easier to fold when it's time. Now that your nichos are cut and folded, you're going to want to choose the photos that go inside. These are often photos of loved ones who have passed or anything like a Mexican lottery card. I've chosen the arrows here and also here's the photo I've chosen, but I highly recommend you make a photocopy. Do not use the original. When you've chosen your photos, center them in the inside of the nichos and use the glue stick to glue them down. Once your photos are glued down to the inside of your nichos, you'll find the tab that says glue here. Spread some of your glue stick and you're going to sort of bow or bend. This is not a flat fold. You're going to bow the paper together and pinch so you can adhere that. You'll see it creates a little platform on the bottom of your nicho and that's what allows it to stand up on your altar or your ofrenda. Um, so just repeat that process with the second nicho. Glue there, sort of bow the paper together stick to adhere and there you go now you've made your two little nichos now for the paper flowers or the flores de papel you're going to take one of the tissue sheets you got in your kit and you're going to unfold it just once and you're going to cut along the center fold this is going to give you two pieces of folded tissue you're going to open each of those pieces and cut again along the center fold This will give you four pieces of tissue that you're going to stack on top of each other and you're going to find the center along the long edge of these tissues. If it helps, like I did here, you might want to go ahead and fold it in order to create a center line, but just find the center of the long edge of these four and cut once you're ready. This is going to give you eight pieces of tissue stack on top of each other. Find the long edge, fold in half if you need to. You're going to cut along the center of this long edge of eight. It's going to give you two stacks of eight pieces of tissue. Taking one of those stacks of eight pieces of tissue, start making an accordion fold. It'll be about a half an inch big here. Back and forth and back and forth. You'll do that all the length of this eight pieces of tissue. Once you've done the accordion fold all the way down, you're going to go ahead and take some scissors and round the tips of the tissue on each side. Then you're going to take one of those twisty ties and you're going to find the center of your little row of tissue here. Find the center, pinch the tie together and go ahead and twist to um, kind of keep it in place. And if you want to, go ahead and use your scissors to trim off excess tie there and fold it down. You're then going to fan out each side that you've made here from the middle. Fan out each side of the tissue and very carefully start taking one piece of tissue at a time and gently pulling it towards the center. Kind of ruffling and fluffing as you go. You just got to do this real carefully. Take one piece of tissue at a time. Pull it up and towards the center. Again, sort of ruffling and fluffing as you go. You'll see it pretty quickly starts to take shape as a, as a marigold, as a flower. One sheet at a time. Here you'll see I'm just finishing up my flower. I have now done both sides where I've pulled one piece of tissue at a time towards the center and fluffed as I've gone. So one little stack of the eight pieces of tissue will make one flower. You can start this process again with that second set that you have waiting for you there. And then take your second piece of tissue from your kit and start from the beginning. 
As always, we would love to see any of your finished Stay Crafty kits, so please tag us on social. We are at Fremont Library on Facebook and at Fremont Lib on Instagram and TikTok.